Welcome back to the video guys. Thank you guys for joining me your boy Tony today. Um, I hope the camera quality looks a lot better than normal. I'm using my camera, my Nikon camera that I had. Um, you guys remember from the early vlogs, we used to buzz down on this every single time, but I uh, got the GoPros for ease of use and also because it wouldn't get so dirty. But today I figured I'm gonna bust it out for you guys, see the quality. And if you guys want more videos within like this kind, I just need to get a better like fisheye lens because this is very, very like in my face. You feel me? Like it's very zoomed in. So. Um, just let me know what you guys think of the quality and let's jump into today's video man. So today I got some pretty exciting parts for the bug man. If you guys see the box right over there. You guys see it right there? I got a box right there. Um, if you guys saw the last cruise video, I'll give you guys a nice sneak peek of what's inside. But uh, let's dive into it right now man because I'm excited to put on these mods man. I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. It stopped raining so we're going to take full advantage of that. Let me start with the mods right now man. Now. I got a few things for myself and a few things for my pops. So not all of these are mine. Some interior pieces, some exterior pieces, um, some PB blasters that we're gonna need for the first one that we're gonna do, which is the big box inside the big box. Let's pull that out real quick. Now all of these parts are from J Bugs. It's funny how I said it, Oceanside, California. Let's get it. So what we got here today is something I've wanted for a very long time. And you guys probably can already tell what it is for me. Not even like opening the packaging yet, but you guys can see that. You guys seeing this right here? Oh, let me just pull that. Ooh, ooh. So I did end up getting some drop spindles for the bug, and these are from jbugs.com. These are for drum brakes because I do have drums in the front. Um, this should lower it about two and a half inches. So I'm super excited about that. Hyped on that actually. So um, I don't want to stall anymore, and we're just gonna. Jump straight into it, man. This shouldn't be too hard. I've seen a, I've seen a, a few people do them, so the other one's right over there, man. Let's jump into it right now, man. I'm already, I'm already hyped, bro. I don't even want to wait. Let me just show you guys some before and after. So that's before right there. So that's before right there. You guys can get that. Took off the hubcaps because it was raining and I didn't want to get arrested. I drove into town to get some supplies that I'm gonna need, like the PB blaster, like the PB blaster. Um. A jack that I need and this tool that's gonna come in very handy because my car is old um, is a ball joint separator I see some people need it some people don't need it so I'm just gonna get it because well you know this is this is the better thing to do man let's get an update on the weather real quick beautiful sun shining through I'm super excited to work man I'm just kind of setting my stuff up right now busting on my tool so and I'm doing this on the side of the road because that's how we get down bro that's my dad's bug right there so we get down, we're gonna make it happen, man. We're just, we make it happen, but we're doing this Tun Tuna style. For those of you that don't know, this is my 1972 bug. Her name is Selena. Um, I got on my tools out right here. Uh, she's got stock right height in the front. Nothing, no adjustable beam, nothing, none of that business. In the rear, she's, I don't know if she's been lowered a little bit, but I have not touched the torsion arm since I got it, so it's not lowered stock. Everything in the rear as well. So this is what we're going to be putting on today. I'm not exactly sure what side this one is, but we'll find out as soon as we dive into it. And uh, let's just get started, man. This is a 19 millimeter. I'm just using it to take off the cap. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, it has like this reverse lock nut with the Allen lock nut thing. It's just it's an Allen key, and then you take you take off the nut. Don't be long, get out of here. We just gotta take off this nut, man. That was a little bit more loose than I would have liked, but all right. Remember, in the orientation, everything goes, man. It's very important on these cars. Don't ever forget that. Put this right here to the side. 15 right here, look. Ooh, homie, just break that sucker loose. Just break all of them, might as well. Now, 
now since you don't want to re-bleed your brake system just move it off to the side all right now we're now that we're zoomed in real close and personal right here I already pre-loosened everything with some this one's a 17 a shock bolt to 17 as well uh 19 and 19 on top so it should be fairly easy everything's already kind of loose for me so i'm gonna just go ahead and start taking this stuff off man remember which bolt goes where because we will need to reuse all of them i'm gonna have to bust this one out the two i told you guys about the ball joint pressure so that i can get this sucker out of here man Did you guys see that? That thing snapped. That was scary for me. I'm glad I had that on camera though. Imagine if I would have missed that. I'm glad we were able to get that off. Unfortunately, the boot is shot, so we're gonna need to replace that ASAP. It's just a tie rod end. Now we're just gonna take off these that are like spring loaded, I guess. And yeah, then we just take it off this. This bottom nut needs to be held down because apparently. Just wiggling around in there. That thing needed a lot of love, man, to come out. Just like everything else on two tuners, we just take a minute. Oh, yes, you can see that it's a whole lot beefier. And that's where the difference is at the lower ball joint, I'm assuming, the placement of it. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this one on already. We're gonna go ahead and slap this one on already. Go. Now what we're gonna do right now is jack up the car or jack up the the arm so that we can put the shock in. I did get some of these adjuster clips or caps and the valve bleeder cap cover thing. It's just maintenance stuff. My car never had them and I felt bad because all the water and debris is going to get in there. So they just go on the bleeder cap and these just kind of screw into the adjuster holes that are on the back. And then we can put the disc back on, man. All right, enough of that, guys. Let's just slap it on already. Put your drunk cover back on. Nice and easy. Don't mess up any of the bearings on the inside. I want to make sure that when you guys put your actual nut back on, you tighten up that Allen. And then you put your cap back on and just give her a good tap, man. Now we put the wheel back on, man. I just found out I have a nail. Sad boys. I'm going to get that patched up right now as soon as we get on the road. All right, so it's clearly dark out right now. My dad just came to help him right now. Shout out to my pops, love that guy. Um, this one was not was still spinning, like the threads were still spinning. Right now, watch. I took the nut off, right? But before the nuts, the threads were still spinning and made it impossible to do what I needed to do. So basically what I did is I grabbed this, let me move that out the way. I grabbed a pipe 
put it right here like that and lifted it like from over here you see it lifted up like that so it put more pressure down on the bottom and then we had to use a lot of pressure like my dad literally had to hold the pry bar up we literally had to alternate stuff it took forever but i got it done everything else is off you guys can see I'm, I'm honestly just gonna zoom by this shit bro because i honestly just want to be done i'm over it it took the guy in the video that i seen they all did it within 20 minutes but obviously me being two tuners for whatever reason it is the installs always take triple quadruple the time so we're gonna bust down i don't want to take this to take this i don't want this to take into the next day so we're gonna bust down right now i'm gonna finish it bro i'm telling you i'm gonna finish it because i'm gonna finish it let's get it about to cruise it to the gas station because i have like no gas and then i'll show you guys what it looks like because i don't want to show you guys right now because the lighting is not good but i told myself i'd crack one open as soon as i was done this is fire bro they make this in my hometown um i'm about to sit this on the way to the gas station i can't wait to show you guys at the gas station bro i'm like almost out of gas We're just cruising it right now guys as you guys can see vibing out in the bug you know what we've been doing i just got a new air freshener here too man people tailgating me the car does pull a little bit to the right but that's to be expected i did mess up the whole alignment you know so I'll just, i'm gonna just have to get it aligned this steering wheel was never straight honestly i never got this car aligned never messed with any of the suspension ever this is the first time we do that so it's it's been eating in alignment probably since before i got it but we're gonna we're gonna take care of that soon but well, this actually came out right here the fitment's pretty fire i'm not gonna lie remember before how it was five finger gap now it's uh whoa that's tight whoa i guess it did make a difference with the full tank i actually rubbed now that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy but anyways i have a full tank so right now it's a one finger gap I can't even, yeah, it's a one finger gap. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy, bro. I think with an empty tank, it was like two finger gap. See, I can't even, that's crazy, bro. Bro, it looks fire though. It literally closed the whole, it literally closed up the fitment issues that I had in the front. Now the only thing I have to deal with is the rear. The rear is a little bit higher now. The, the rear is four finger gap. So we need to fix that and then we'll be cherry, bro. But let me know what you guys think, though. Down in the comments, bro. Let me know if you guys like it. Like, leave a fat thumbs up in the video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me get this shot for you guys. Let me get this low shot for you guys right here. Look. Bye. 
fire. That's fire though. Oh yep. That shit looks fire. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was super, super overdue. Uh, I've been talking about this, I think, forever. It was like one of the first things I wanted to do to the bug, and it's apparently one of the last. You know, I've been doing a lot of interior work, a lot of motor work, and and yet still there's a lot of work to be done. But we're, we're, I'm finally seeing a lot of progress being made. Like, this is what I needed, you know? And I do plan to go crazy, like, um, like um, a front beam. You know, I want to get some good suspension, good, you know? Like, I want to be able to, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to be able to, like, I don't know. I just want to be able to drive it. I don't want it to feel wonky or old, you know? Like, I don't want it to feel like, I want it to steer. Like, my dad's bug steers so well. It's, it's got an upgraded, um, it's got upgraded bushings and it's got upgraded front and front narrowed, or it's a front, just lowered beam, adjustable beam, you know? Honestly, that job, I started at three, ended at eight, so it took me five hours to do. And everybody that I see would do it, they literally took them like, less than an hour to do both sides but uh as typical tuntunus fashion some of the worst scenarios were presented to us and we dealt with them you know and uh, i'm on my pad chilling no issues i'm not gonna lie i do rub <laughs> i do rub on a full tank i do rub i'm not gonna lie i do rub and I, i'm low-key i'm not gonna fix it <laughs> you know i'm not gonna fix it bro why am i gonna fix it bro it's literally what i wanted you know i'm not gonna fix it it's it's cool now I need to fix the rears. Super happy with the results. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you guys think as well in the comments below. I'm super happy with how it came out. It's just super rewarding. I feel so good about it. It's something I've, that's been long overdue, you know? And with that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know? Something I wanted to share with you guys is no matter what vision you guys have, never, ever, ever give up on that vision, you know? Because there's been a few times where I wanted to sell the bug. There's been like one instance that I put it completely back to stock. I took off all the modifications. I think that was in high school, so it didn't have a lot done, but I took off what I had. And um, the deal didn't go through. The guy, I don't know, he said some excuse, I don't know, but it's a good thing that he did because then that gave me the opportunity to be able to do this, you know, like to create something that I love and enjoy and you know i've always wanted this was one of my dream cars and at 15 years old i found it off my dad's friend i wish you guys could have seen it with like the first day i got it bro it was terrible like no carpet no it was just it was just garbage bro crashed it was like sandwiched and hit from the side bro it was ridiculous bro that's the passenger doors passenger door is not the stock one the hood is not the stock one that flew off on me one time when i was driving the windshield is not the oem one um, I think that both rear fenders are not the stock ones. The front right, the only fender that's I think original from this car, and I don't even know until then, but it's original from when I got it, is the front driver, and that's it. The hood in the back is also not stock. Um, yeah, these seats are also not. There's a lot of stuff that's been changed, and I'm super happy with it because it actually looks good. You know, one of the goals I have is to paint this car myself. Uh. I don't know what color yet, but it's one of my goals. I want to paint this car myself. It doesn't matter if it comes out ugly. It'll just look better than this. It was this one? The paint. Whoever painted this sucked, bro. You guys should see how much, how many runs there are in the door jams. It's ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end it here, guys, because I'm super tired. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you guys want to see from the bug, uh, cruises, mods, whatever. Name it. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I hope you guys have an amazing, blessed day, and I catch you guys in the next video.